Hi, this is uh, example number two of section 17.1. So we have here a pendulum which has, is composed by a rod of mass two kilograms of and length two, meter, two meters and a disc of radius 0 0.5 and mass four kilograms. We could see that the center of mass will be at one, right, meters, the center of mass of this uh, rod and the center of mass of the disc will be at 2.5 meters. And we are asked to find the mass moment of inertia and the pendulum radius of duration about an axis perpendicular to the plane and that passes through point O. So be careful because there are some problems that they ask you to find the mass moment of inertia about the center of mass of the whole figure of the whole body. In this case, we are asked to find the moment of inertia about point O. So we have to use the theorem of parallel axis uh, respect to that point O. Solution of that problem will be we have to use the mass moment of inertia about the center of mass of each of our geometric figures that you can find those values in the tables that you, are, you were given in class or you can find it in the back of the book. And for a rod or a bar, the mass moment of inertia about the, let's call this G1 and G2, right? About, let's draw our coordinate system right here, X and Y, and you know this is about C, and it will be 1 12th mass the length square, right? So, and for a disk, also in C direction, G2 in C direction will be 1 half mass, this is the mass of the bar or, or the rod, and this is the mass of the disk, will be radius squared. So those are the values that you find in the tables, and those are the values that we have to so to say, move to or uh, transfer to point O. For that, we use the parallel axis theorem. So for the inertia of the, the rod, so if you remember, the axis theorem will say that in O, it will be the axis in the center of mass plus the mass times distance of the, between that center uh, of mass to the point that we want to calculate the difference. So in the case of the bar, let's call it the bar, in O will be the inertia of G1 in C, right, this is all C, plus the mass of the bar, I call it rho, let me call it rho because to be consistent all the way through, so let me call it here rho which is the same as a bar, but just to be consistent, right? So this is the rod, mass of the rod, times the distance. What will be the distance between that point and the O? Will be one square. So that will be then one, one over 12. The mass is two, two kilograms. The length is two meters square plus the mass again, which is two times one square. And that gives me a value of, I have it right here, 2.667 kilograms meters square. And I do exactly the same for the disk. About O of the disk will be the uh, inertia respect to the center, right, of the disk plus the mass of the disk plus that distance that we already wrote right here, that is 2.5 squared. So that will be 1 half the mass, which is 4, the radius that is 0 0.5 squared, plus the mass of the disk, which is 4, and the distance that is 2.5 squared. And that gives me a value of 25.5 kilograms per meter. Do you see that this is much bigger than that one? And it's bigger, of course, because the mass is bigger, 
but it's bigger also because it's farther away. So that component makes a big difference. Now I can get the, the total mass moment of inertia, about 0.0, total, would be that of the rod plus that of the disk. And that gives me a moment of inertia. I add those two values, 28.17 kilograms meters squared. So that's the first value that we were asked to find. And the second value that we were asked to find, so here, mass moment of inertia, the radius of duration. So you remember that the definition of radius of duration is equals to the square root of that value of the inertia that we just found over the mass, the total mass. So that will be the square root of 28.17 divided by the total mass. And the total mass will be 4 plus 2. So 4 kilograms per 2 kilograms. So the radius of duration, let's say about O, because it's very important that the radius of duration has to be about one point and a, in a specific axis. So the, that point A and the specific axis, we could say is C, because this is a, the inertia respect to C, will be 2.17 meters. And that's the other results we were asked to find. You can also see the PowerPoint presentation for the solution.